Hi, I am Asper Ankop and welcome to Kaiser Power Electronics. This is the last video in the series of moving into a new lab and workshop. So I would like to show you my lab table, how I have set it up, what instruments I have and uh, yeah, just that I have finally settled in uh, to the lab and I can now begin working on projects again. So let's take a look. Lighting in the room can best be described as a bit dutchy at best. Um, there's still that weird lamp over at the wall and the old lamp in the ceiling. Uh, those two I do of course need to change to something better. But uh, what I have uh, put in place here is uh, two uh, IKEA shelves over here um, for uh, parts and uh, just what I really need of uh, instruments and, and spare parts that are ready at hand. Uh, and a few uh, project boxes. Then there's of course uh, the instrument shelf that I uh, got up here. Um, and then I built another small shelf down here for uh, oscilloscope and uh, multimeters and other measuring uh, handheld measuring equipment. Then there's of course a soldering iron, microscope, variac with isolation transformer and uh, then the uh, the table itself and yeah, a good amount of space underneath for storing uh, more stuff. So uh, let's uh, fire it all up. First there's a AC-DC uh, power supply, then there's another dual power supply, banana for scale, some uh, attenuators for the measurements, there's my uh, two-channel isolator which is Basically, just a, a huge uh, differential probe. There's a, a pro programmable counter timer, a uh, fluke multimeter. Then we come over to the uh, audio equipment. There's the uh, HP audio analyzer, synthesizer and function generator, and spectrum analyzer. Then over here there's a uh, U-Tracer tube tester, that's my old first oscilloscope and my first function generator. Yeah, you never get rid of those uh, first instruments that you find, do you? But yeah, that's nice. Nice, nice to heal them again, all fired up. So underneath here, um, if I just sit down here. There's my uh, Rigel oscilloscope, some multimeters, um, also something down, LCR testers, 4 to 20 milliamp, clamp on meters, lots of probes, lots, lots of probes and uh, connectors. Um, yeah, and anti static mat connected to the uh, soldering iron. So I'm pretty much uh, settled in now and uh, ready to do some more projects. The first I had to do was uh, repair my little Tesla coil here. It got dropped from the top of a box along with a lot of tubes and yeah, I had glass and acrylic all over the floor. What a mess. Thank you for following my uh, little adventure at uh, moving my lab and uh, getting it settled and uh, all such stuff and uh, thank you for all the comments uh, along the way and yeah, maybe I'll do uh, another video from uh, the workshop when I do a little uh, redecorating out there and uh, some improvement to make that a little more usable here during the winter. Uh, see how I can get some heat installed out there and such, such on. So let's uh, end this uh, video, um, see, or what do you call it, video series with a little pop quiz. Can anyone tell me what tube is this? So, until next time, see ya.